Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good, good evening, wherever it is where you are today. And welcome to another vlog and welcome to another day of getting my life together. Alexa, thank you for that lovely pictures of the dogs. Good morning. Time to spike your hair, throw on a leather jacket, and let out your inner Sid Vicious because it's punk day for a day day. So go ahead, punk, and make my day. Is that really true? So guys, I took a ride to go get a Red Bull. I'm not sure if that last part recorded, but that's what I went to go do. Um, and I figured, well, actually, I just happened to drive by it, but this is the house that... Um, I was thinking about renting the apartments in the back. It's, it's a really cute little apartment, which actually you guys would have seen it already in the vlog. So um, that's someone I might be moving into, guys. That might be my best bet, guys, because the gas and electric is included. And it's only 865 or 825 and it's two bedrooms that's the only downside but i just i don't know i feel gravitated towards that apartment i just went by it like on accident you know what i mean and i don't know i think i'm getting a good vibe about it i might apply for that apartment i think i'm going to so i'm on my way home as you see i don't live very far from that apartment i want to move into just a minute away just a minute away so the girls would go to the same school which is a huge plus i had a dream last night that i got a parking ticket that, like going by that area because where i got the parking ticket in my dream is right over there in front of the, my neighbor's house and when i just pulled up it triggered my dream it triggered my remembrance of it that is so weird that is so weird and like i almost parked in front of my house too and like i wonder if that was like my dream like trying to like let me know like don't do that because you're gonna get a parking ticket it's really honestly amazing how this world how this universe works and how god just magically does all this let's go a lot of movement. <laughs> all right, guys. So it's been a busy, busy, busy morning. Yeah, all right. Me and Mariah. Well, I had to pick up Mariah from school because she was sick. Oh, we went and looked at an apartment, but um i i just passed it up right then and there it was actually the same guy that i looked at the apartment yesterday um but this one the pictures of it on the online looked it looked really cool i liked it and i would have applied for it if he didn't tell me that the gas and electric situation in the house was um there's another person that lives upstairs and we would have to share he would have to pay the electric and i would pay the gas and i'd be pretty much paying his gas and he'd be paying my electric or vice versa and I was like, no, nah, I'm good. But the place was cool. It was right around the corner, literally. It took us a minute to get there. And But it was like an old storefront, but made into a two-bedroom apartment. And like, it was open. Like, the kitchen was like open with the living room. And like, I just liked it. But the fact that the gas and electric situation is like that, I don't like that because I think that that's, I think that happens a lot in these houses that have been split up. Um, I don't think they're metered out the right way. You know, so the search continues. I still might apply for this one over here, even though it's very small. That's the only thing. I'm probably gonna hop on Facebook and or something. I'm gonna hop online and see what other places I can look at, but I need to breathe there for a minute. I just posted a vlog, guys, from the past couple days, and I need a breather. Guys, look at my makeup. <laughs> look oh at my, my makeup. Oh my God, girl. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to record this. I'm going to close the window so you guys can hear me good. I just got done picking up Baba and Sophia. Mariah um, was homesick. And I forget if I had said that earlier, but um, I picked up Mariah from school. 
um, picked up Sophie, picked up Bubba. Bubba usually rides the bus, but they called me um, sometimes, which this happens, but they called me and said that I would have to pick him up because the bus driver felt like he was in, in, a, in a mood and the bus driver knows how he is. So the bus driver felt like he was in a mood and didn't feel like it was safe, you know what I mean, for him to be on there. So... So, yeah, we're going to stop at Little Caesars and grab a pizza and go home because I know, I already know, I'm not even going to, I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. My dishes are not done because of the past few days looking at all these apartments and, um, you know, taking care of me, the baby, making videos, doing everything else. I got behind on the dishes and um, I'm a behind on a lot of stuff at home. I haven't taken a shower, so about to go get a pizza and go home. That's what we're doing. So guys, I just got the little Caesars and we're about to head home. We are eating dumb, I mean not Domino's, um... Little Caesars. Little Caesars. We got a turkey run. Amora wants to talk and wait. <laughs> and wait. Amora. Can you say more, please? What are you going to say? How, what do you say? More? Is that good, Bubba? Why are you... Poor head. Muffin. Bubba's old muffin. Because? Bubba's on muffin. Mm -hmm. Bubba's on muffin. It's a mukbang, not a muff bang. Earthquake. I think she meant muffin. Earthquake. Plus. Earthquake. At the tone, please subscribe. So guys, we just ate. Um, I just put on a show on the TV for Bubba because I need to take a shower. So I usually don't like letting him watch TV like this, but um. I really need to take a shower. I really need one, so. So guys, we did a little bit of a time lapse here. I thought it would be cool because we were all kind of like all over the place and um, I was trying to tell everybody to clean up. Right there, I was opening up like some divorce paperwork that I got in the mail from Jorge's lawyer. And as you can see, look at Amora just like crawling along there like a little caterpillar. And um, in a second here, you're going to see Bubba being so silly with the laundry basket. And this is how, you know, this is how you know you don't have to have no fancy toys to have fun or anything like that. This kid was having fun with a laundry basket. Look, he was rolling around and he thought it was so funny that I was mirroring the, the camera to my screen. Uh, so... There he goes spinning it around and he was just laughing because he saw it on the screen. Oh, and Sophie folded the clothes. So, hell yeah. What you doing, Bubba? <laughs> oh my God. Wait, Mom, there's a TV inside of the TV. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey. Guys, we are on our way. We're about to get in the car and go to the trunk or treat thing at their school and then um cauldron and thorn because they're having kids day there so yeah let's go have fun i'm doing a voiceover for this portion because there was loud music playing and it'll get copywritten on here on youtube but the kids had an amazing time and there were some pretty cool trunks there that were decorated and Amora pretty much slept the whole time. And then after the trunk retreat, we went over to uh, this place called Cauldron and Thorn, and it's a metaphysical store that's here in Erie, PA, and they have the most beautiful crystals and all types of awesome things there. So the, kid, the kids had an awesome time. Look at how adorable. Look at Amora. She's the sweetest little girl. So guys, um, I hope you guys enjoy the vlog so far and enjoy the rest of the vlog, guys. I love y'all. Me and Amora here. <laughs> I just made her a bottle and the girls are in bed. I don't know if they're asleep yet, but they're in bed. And Bubba's asleep. He's been asleep. He's out there on the recliner. So now it's Amora's turn to go to sleep. And then hopefully mommy gets a little bit of time to myself to, I don't know, 
probably clean up, edit, maybe like reply to your guys' comments because I love all the comments that you guys are writing and I really want to call, I want to like reply back to all of them. And <clears throat> here and there when, here and there when I get a chance, I like do, I, I go and I try to reply to them. So yeah, just know that I see you guys, I see all you guys and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much. I think I might give her more a bath right now because I think that that would really, you know, relax her. She's going to have a good night's sleep. I think that's what we're about to do. Look at you. Look at you. So smart. Look. 10 months old and this girl is sitting up holding her bottle like this. This girl is very, very intelligent and advanced for her age, aren't you? Yeah, so we had a gorgeous beetle. So yeah, me and Amor are gonna probably go out there and I'm probably gonna give her a bath. And she is being so freaking adorable right now, guys. Like, look at her, how she just picked up that bottle, no problem. Wow, you are, f first of all, you're like the most adorable baby ever and so smart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, Amora finally fell asleep. So I'm gonna put her in the crib, guys, and then I have time to myself guys it's 10 10 p.m so let's go so guys everybody is asleep in bed i am just cleaning up a couple little messes before i am about to put some milk in this bowl of cereal and take my butt to bed also guys i'm exhausted and i'm gonna need rest because tomorrow is gonna be a busy day because i'm about to eat a bowl of cereal I want to stop buying this junky cereal, like, I really do. I set up the camera. I don't know what I was going to record, but I'm just eating a bowl of cereal, guys. This is, like, the last thing I'm doing before I go to bed. Actually, I probably should put that laundry in the dryer so it's not sitting there all night. Because I literally have a whole pile of laundry down here, like, at least two loads. This is so bad for you bad for me i'm gonna eat healthier i'm gonna start eating healthier f this okay i'm gonna see if this is still recording mm, yeah. <sighs> clean this thing out Jorge always used to yell at me if i didn't like, if I didn't do it every single time. Like, he wouldn't yell at me, but he would, like, get on my case. But he would definitely yell at me for other things, too. <laughs> like, I'm not saying he never yelled at me because he definitely did. But he was just... <sighs> Jorge was just way too disrespectful. I think when you go through abuse, you kind of, like, forget some of this stuff. Like, you kind of put some of this stuff, like in the back of your memory. And sometimes like you start to remember different things like, and I just remembered something that, you know, bothered me. A lot of things bothered me, but this was just fucked up. Cause the one day he woke up and didn't have like whatever clothes he wanted, like which he had tons of clothes. He had more clothes than me, but the specific piece of clothing or outfit or whatever that he wanted, was not dry that morning or whatever. I didn't have it done. And he like literally made such a big deal and like threw off the vibe of my entire day. And just over that, you know what I mean? And that's what would really bother me is I could wake up in such a good mood. Like, and you guys seem like I, I try to be as positive as possible. You know what I mean? My life is not perfect, but I'm trying to make the best of it. And I try to be as positive as possible okay guys i'm not perfect though there was plenty of times when i woke up having a good morning you know just vibing good and 
he would, you know, just come through and just, I hate to say it this way, but just F up my whole day. Like, my whole vibe. Like, some days it would F up my whole day because it takes me a while to, like, recover from this. And especially because that was my husband. You know what I mean? That's somebody that is supposed to be there for you, love you. And that's my partner. And he would be mad at me. And he would, you know, it would hurt me. Need to get some dryer sheets. <laughs> I keep forgetting to take the garbage out. Garbage is always Monday morning, and, or yeah, Monday night, and I keep forgetting to take it out. Like I gotta have. Hold on, Alexa. A lot of the time, I have Alexa. I have like an Alexa device, Amazon Alexa, and she's really cool to have because she, you can like ask her to remind you different stuff. Like you can ask her to put stuff on a shopping list, and then from your phone. You can like pull up the Alexa app and like go right on there and look at the shopping list like while you're at the store. So it's cool because you can be like cleaning and like you know how like at least I do this. Sometimes I'll be like oh I really need this like but I need to go write it down on a list because I know I'm going to forget it. Like but if you don't remember to write it down you won't remember it. If you don't remember it at the store you won't remember it. So I've so many times this has helped me where I just tell you know Alexa such and such and then i like ask her to do stuff and it's really nice and and it plays music it tells you what time it is the temperature like you can look stuff up they have little ones they have big ones but you can like put like fish tank scenes and fireplace scenes and they're actually really cool i have a small one which they're like maybe like around 60 to 80 bucks for the small ones and it has a little screen like a little touch screen alexa and it's nice and then the one in my room is a little bit bigger that's nice and the speaker on it is actually pretty good it's got some bass in it it's pretty good so i really love those things like they have helped me so many times like with remembering things because as a mom with a bunch of kids or just even as anybody it's hard to remember stuff this day and age because so many things are going on around us I swear life gets more and more complicated as I go along and I'm like trying to get more and more more and more simple and everything's getting more complicated. I'm like trying to get more simple. I don't know guys. I'm basic. Maybe I'm a basic B. Am I a basic bitch guys? I think that's a good thing. And you know what? I've been called a basic bitch before and that's fine. I take that as a compliment. I'll be basic as fall by my damn self. All right, guys, so I don't know. I'm thinking I should just end this vlog right off right now on this good note. Um, guys, if you want to be basic, go ahead and be basic. Or go ahead and be as complicated as you want, guys. Be who you want to be. That's the point I'm making here. And guys, if you're wondering when I'm holding a bunch of stuff that I'm going to go find places for later, okay? This goes in my piggy bank and this I was gonna throw away it's just random stuff I need to find a place for guys okay so um I love y'all thank you for watching my videos thank you for supporting me guys I love y'all and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna show you as much as I can and I'm gonna keep it real and keep it 100 y'all all right so have a good night stay safe out there and stay positive guys you can do this believe in yourself believe in yourself guys because i'm believing in myself so i know you guys can believe in yourself all right guys i love y'all